an impromptu visit to the Golden Age home in Vineyard Town hours after an emergency meeting of the board showed that at least one congenitally disabled patient was still half naked on the institution's floor. But this time the disabled resident was on a mat. Another patient was seen lying on the corridor in his urine-soaked pants. Workers later paddled at the gates to two of the clusters in a bid to keep our news team at bay. An angry employee even took photographs of each member of our news team. Meanwhile, a release issued by the board revealed that State Minister with Responsibility for Local Government, Robert Montague, ordered the emergency meeting of the 15-member board as a result of a Sunday Gleaner expose. The report provided chilling details of the abuse and neglect being meted out to the residents. A report containing the subcommittee's findings and recommendations is to be submitted to Montague by Friday. But in the meantime, Operations Manager Delfrida Kamak Thorpe is defending the quality of care offered by the home. So why they're half naked is because it's tidying it's time. It's still getting ready to tidy, them as you can see. And the, the reason they're on the floor is because... It's for their own safety. And what's that? One, they will fall off the bed. Two, if you do not restrain them, they would be out here. All over, crawling all over, all over, because they are babies. In, they are adults, but they are babies. They are not responsible for what they are doing. Neither do they know what they are doing. <laughs> um, you have certain residents that we call them strippers. Mm -hmm. If you just put on the clothes as your back turn, they strip themselves. I was here for a few hours in it, so that won't that won't they, suffice. Because they were naked for for quite a while. So I'm that won't you, suffice. This is, this is what I know. I don't know what you see, but this is what I know. Um some residents are so programmed that after they finish eating, they just they know it's almost bathing time, so they strip themselves. I don't know what happened when you were here. But I am talking from my heart, and this is what I know. So you're saying the care here is up to standard? We could improve in some areas. Wherever mm. you go, whether it be a public hospital or an institution, even at my own home taking care of my own grandmother, mm -hmm. I could improve in some ways. Right, but you're saying ultimately the care is up to... We give the best care we can. And the best is good enough? The best is good enough. I don't know the... about the flies, but for urine, in any institution like this, from time to time, you will see urine on the floor. Because we do not have pumpers to change three, four times per day. We need a lot more resources. So the government needs to give you more money? Yes, if we have a lot more resources, we would have employ more so staff. Instead of, instead of Montague um, launching an investigation, you should give more money? Even if he has to do his investigation, but mm. he also needs to give us some more resources. What equipment we try is to train our staff to the best of our ability. But if you look at the Jamaican Parliament, sometimes it gives a lot to be desired. I'm not saying what was said, that's how it should be said, but I know the interaction that the residents and the staff have. It's a family. So why, why, would, why would one of the workers sit on a patient and ride her like a donkey? That's not supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm it's trying to identify the worker that did that. Just ask. I'm sure they'll tell you. I'm asking, I'm asking, I'm asking, I'm trying to identify the person. But you're not supposed to do that. It's about walking over the patients while they're on the floor. That is prohibited as well. No, you're not supposed to walk well, over we noticed the residents. That thing. You are not supposed to walk over the residents. Right, what you about were not this? trained to do that. What about this lady crawling again? Which of them? Here. She's like that's, crawling that's again. Her, that's how she walked. That's how she walked. She cannot walk. So shouldn't somebody help her? If, if you have her, you just can't guide her along because that is how she walks. But shouldn't no, I? where oh, our food on. cannot stretch out. I am telling you, want to go? No. It's because you are not used. No, if, if you to no that's why I'm. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Shouldn't you have? No, wait. Honey. Shouldn't you have? That's why the That's the way she walk. That's how she walk from point A to point B. That's how she. 
Okay. So don't, wow. all right. So you don't think you should have two male um per, or anybody to lift her and help Whether her? Whether male or female, whenever they need help, we ensure that they get but help. President walk on their hands and walk on their buttocks. I've seen that in my field of work all the while. You have never seen them being naked though. No, I'm not talking about the naked. I've not seen her naked a while ago. You, you saw have her naked seen in the paper, though? I've seen your picture. Yes. Yes. And, and that should not you, have happened. Are you supposed that? And, um, okay, it shouldn't have happened. That's it should not have you. happened. Whether she took off her clothes or took it off not, it should not have happened. So it's okay for her to walk on her knees? That's how she walks. And that is, that, to me, that is providing her own mobility. Go look at her knee and see if there's any bruise at all to her knee. Once you start walking on your hands and feet, your hand on your hands, your hands become your feet. Once you start using your feet to eat with, your feet become your hands. And did the minister visit her? Did he? The minister have ordered an investigation. The board was summoned to an emergency meeting. Did he visit her? He has not visited. Hasn't visited before. No, no. Since, since, since the incident, no, I have not seen him. No mass bathing ritual. No, no, yes. no, no, no. no. Each room residents. has seven residents, and there is a bathroom right. for the right. seven right. residents. No mass bathing. No mass bathing. So what do you call mass bathing? And none of the cluster. What do you call mass bathing? Exactly what we described in the article, which I'm sure you read. Putting them together and spraying them, them with oil. You hose. can't do that. That happens Each here. I'm when? telling you that. When? That's what I want so if to know. all sources other than Michael told us that, and it's not I Michael would, who told I us would that. want honestly, I personally would want to know. What about flies? Is that un, is it's that manga unavoidable? Time. Mango time is different from you and you know. As you can see, there are lots of mango trees everywhere, everywhere. So repeat. So the mangoes cause a fly. Mangoes cause fly. I'm not seeing because I'm looking. Oh, I don't see any fly. I don't know what you have seen. Probably the time you come was the time when they were going to tidy up. I don't know what time you come. Because if you come at 7 o'clock, you're going to smell urine and you will see fly. If you come at 3 o'clock, you're going to see that urine because that's the time you're going to clean up and you're going to tidy up and you're going to ready to serve supper. After supper now, then you wipe off them out, who miss, you tidy them back, and you get the help, you lift them, put them into them bed. So supper flies would be there around supper for the food? No, no, no! But that's when we saw it. What time? We saw when they were serving supper, we saw the flies, the ladies at the over a next over next here, cluster. Not just over here, you know, uh -huh. next cluster. I don't I don't know. I cannot speak for that. Right. But I cannot say you won't see fly because at my house I see fly. At Portmore I have to put up mesh. Hello, Mark All right. So and, you're gonna see fly. And finally, um residents a resident was complaining about food. Uh -huh. Food? That they don't get enough food. <laughs> Resident complain about mm. food. That Take one I in. can say I personally Take think we feed them too much. We give them too much food. Some will say to you that them don't eat from morning. Some will say to you say from yesterday they don't eat and they have the food in their hand. You just give them the food and they put on the dish right there and somebody else passing and they will tell you that they don't eat. We had a we had a um private organization that come to feed them maybe about just about two weeks ago and the lady had just given the resident a plate of food and somebody else was passing and him hide it under the pot and said miss me don't get no food at all so the lady said but i just see you with the food so as i said some of them are senile they don't know that they get the food they don't even know where their mouth is